it's just truly the ocean of Maine concentrated and put into a jar. A simple sounding recipe. Though in reality, from ocean to that jar full of sea salt, it's a complicated six weeks of work. I've been making salt for family and friends for years, but it was figuring out how can we accomplish that on a large scale and not lose any of the quality. Our four greenhouses, we have two. Lauren Mendoza founded Slack Tide Sea Salt in 2020. It's a family business she runs with her aunt, Kathy Martin, and their two husbands. Keeping that smaller batch type quality, she says, begins from the very start, harvesting the water. So we want the cleanest, freshest, purest water we can get. So our perfect time is no wind and a flat day, but this is pretty darn good out here. The water they get comes from at least one mile offshore, always pumped from the ocean specifically at the height of high tide, just before the tide goes slack. So all that water's coming in, so you're not getting any runoff, you're not getting anything from the shore, the river. We go deep out into the ocean. Back on shore, the water gets hauled up to the greenhouse, where inside it evaporates down to the salt flakes. Filtered, dehydrated, it's then flavored. Kathy is the mastermind behind the array of flavors, which include applewood, ghost pepper, a lemon dill, and lemon rosemary. So I just add things that I think will taste good on particular food into the salt and trial and error and see what tastes best. Our salt is a very specific texture, so if you use it as a finishing salt, you'll have it kind of dissolve on your palate. It's really nice. Hand harvested from only the deep water, solar dried one small batch at a time. Yes, they know there are easier ways to fill a jar full of salt. It can be very easy to make salt. It's not so easy to make salt really well, a really fine craft finishing salt. And by the way, for every jar of Slack Tide's Fisherman's Blend Lemon Dill salt it sells, the company is donating $1 to the Maine Coastal Fishermen's Association to benefit its Fisherman Feeding Mainers program.